welcome to the channel or welcome back if you are a regular here now it's been just under a month since i put out the video on the 5th of january talking about how my business was at struggle point and i needed to turn things around if i was going to continue doing this full time now from that point in fact a couple of days before i put out the video i made the decision to change the model of my business i'll speak about that a little bit more later but what I wanted to do, and based on some YouTube comments on one of my latest videos, people wanted me to do a monthly breakdown, a bit of a review of the month and to show you guys whether I'm on the way up or whether things are failing and I need to change. All feedback is welcome, by the way. I know people do different models, people do it different ways. All I'm here to do is show you what I do. I'm not telling you guys this is the way, not telling you guys this is the cheat code, it's really not. It's hard work, and I'm gonna talk about that as well today. So let's have a look at the sales charts. The first things first here, um, as you can see, when we were putting out the video on the 5th, sales were hovering around the 145 pound mark on average, I would say. I mean, the day after I put out the video, look at that one there, 71 pounds, 64 pence, absolute killer. And at that point, I was really considering whether I was doing the right thing, continuing this on. And then things started to pick up a bit. On the 7th, we had a 285 day. I need to be hovering around that every single day if I'm going to hit the 100K. There's going to be ups and downs. We know that. It's eBay. But that's the kind of money I need to be hitting on a daily basis. And as you can see, even at this point, we're not there every day. But I appreciate that it's going to take time for the business model to change. Monday, 192. Tuesday, a very good day, 406. But I wasn't at that point feeling like I've completely turned a corner. It's too early to say. So Wednesday, 207, 225, 249, 193. So as you can see, very consistent in this little block here. And then we took a couple of dips. 100 pound day hurt. And then we had a 294, 194, a 376, always nice. And then 166, 260, 178, 267, 405, which is nice. But in the last seven days, I feel eBay started to reward me for the change I make. And that makes perfect sense to me because on this date here, on the 5th and 6th, I was still at that point loading in the lower value items. I wasn't buying the higher value stuff. I made that change here on the 7th when I started to buy it. And with buying online, we know it takes time for things to come through. Anyway, so when we hit this point around here, the last week or so, we've had a 260, a 178, a 267, a 405, 281, 194, Ooh, bit of a dip, annoying. But then we had a 394, a 296, 201, which isn't still where we want to be. Awful dip on the 30th, 134. And then yesterday was a 345. But what I am positive about is if we scroll down a little bit more, in the last 31 days, we are 54.8% up. Yeah, that's right, 54.8% up. So people might turn around and say, well, your December must have been terrible. Yes, it was. And that's why I've changed the business model. So I'm super happy with this. Everything's on the rise here with my listing impressions, my click-through rate, um, my listing page views, 74.8% up on page views. Says to me, James, you are putting in the right stuff. Um, sales conversion rate, 1.3. I don't know what people's conversion rate normally is. I would love that to be up around the 2%. I don't know whether that's the norm, but it is still in the green, which is great. But let me show you this other tab here. If I go up to performance and I think if I go onto the sales tab, this will give you guys more of a breakdown of what I was talking about here. So the total sales is up 54.8% versus the previous time period. Quality, uh, quantity sold is 428 items, um, which is 82.9% up. But there's a caveat to that. I've had lots of things on auction. As you can see, my sales via, via auction's up over a thousand percent. 
I've had so many items end on auction, which has also brought down the average sales price. Which again, I'm not stressed about right now because I am in the process of clearing stock. And for the people who know, I've listed nearly 300 items on 99p auction that have been snapped up and currently live at the moment. So I expect that to take a little dip before it goes up. But if we compare, um, let's do this month to last month. Uh, sorry, I was going to do same period last year. Why is that not bringing things up? Let's refresh it again. Oh, do you know why? Because it's February. If we go custom, if we look at January the 1st to the 31st, and then compare that to... I want to compare it to January last year. Let's see if that does it. There we go. So that's compared to last year, as you can see, well up. So sometimes don't just compare to the previous month because, you know, for a lot of you, your Q4 might have been amazing and you're going back in and you're looking at January compared to December. So you might be on a bit of a dip. So don't be disheartened by that. Mine's slightly different because of the model I've changed. The other thing I want to show, talking of this ASP, is if we compare in a custom report here, if we compare, say, the last week or so, and I do this quite a bit, by the way, just actually compare weeks as well as months and years. This is what I'm talking about, 22% down on the ASP because of the auctions. Sold 159 items last week, that was the auction stuff. But if we look to this week, so far, three days, compared to the previous week. We are up 160% on the ASP so far, 22.82. Uh, That's because most of my auctions have now finished and been shipped. So, as you can see, the ASP is going up. But there's a quick review for you guys. Um, let me have a look and see what more I can show you here. I don't want to give away customers' information, so I might have to blur some stuff out. But if we go on all orders, and if we look at the... And this is good things that you guys can actually do to um, have a look and see how you're doing. Last month, um, 428 orders. What I like to do is actually look at the highest order and the lowest. The lowest is going to be 99p many of them apart from the cancellations but if we go to order total it will show us the highest order and it was the nike jumper which had stains on it um but this is this is one of my latest ones the all saints jacket 103.99 this is the latest one 103.99 latest one latest one latest one car boot sale pickup so as you can see i've had some good sales in there but I've had a lot of stuff that just hits the metrics. And actually, don't be disheartened by that. That is still absolutely fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick update for January. Hope you guys absolutely smashed February. What I want to speak about is some of the things I have changed. Now, a couple of things I have changed. First of all, discipline. Discipline, discipline, discipline. Not to come and do the work every day, because I don't mind doing that. I've always done that. It's been disciplined when it comes to buying not compromising. So there's been days when I've been sourcing and I have set myself a weekly target. There's been days I've been sourcing where I might have spent eight hours sourcing and only picked up two or three items. Beforehand, I can't do it. It's a disaster. I've got to go and buy more stuff. Now it's a positive because I've walked away from all the stuff that does not hit the metrics. Discipline's been a big thing. The other thing I would recommend anyone to do, talk about it. Me putting myself out there to YouTube land and to people, my peers and people in the group, speaking to Tech, speaking to Mel, speaking to Luke, speaking to Jamie, speaking to Hunley, Carl, loads of other people, too many to name. Lee, I know Lee, you watched the video, spoke to Lee as well. Simon, too many people to mention. But speaking to these people about my business, about what I needed to change, has been an absolute game changer. So this video dedicated to you guys, the people who took the time to listen, the people who supported, 
and I'm not sure whether I mentioned him, but Tech and Sports has been inspirational in this growth. And I am on a podcast with Tech and Sports tomorrow on his channel. Go and check it out. Amazing chat with the goat. And he has changed my life and will continue to do so. So I'm waffling now. Gonna go. Love you all. Thanks for the support from you guys in YouTube land as well. You've been amazing. I've had some lovely comments. And even the people who have been negative, thank you because you are pushing me on to make this work. See you soon.